I'm going to walk you through uh, the calendar feature in Classroom. So when you're logged into Classroom, you have your class list here. Up in the top left corner, you have your little bar that you used to be able to see classes. Now you have a calendar feature, which allows you to see everything that's due that week. Up here at the top, you can click through your week um, and see what's due each week. Um, as of right now, it's showing me everything that's due for every class that I have calendar information for. I can actually go in here and I can actually tell it I only want to see Ceramics 1. And all they had this week was a journal and that's all they have next week is turning in their journal. I can go back and look at Ceramics 2, see what Ceramics 2 has got going on. Um, again, my AP Studio kids, uh, so you can look at it that way. One of the other things that ends up happening is um, in the class page, so let's go to Digital Photography 1 because I know I have a bunch of stuff here. If I click on the About tab, I can actually tell it to open in Google Calendar. I'm not sure that the kids can see it. I don't know that they have that button. Um, so there's a workaround for that that I'll show you in a minute, but this would show you um, right now, if I had just clicked on Digital Photography 1, I come over here in Google Calendar and I tell it only to display this calendar. So then it, it shows me just that instead of all that other stuff that's there. Um, so to get this calendar to show up that the kids can see it, um, they can actually you can actually go in to this um, part I'm on the about section in the classroom I'm gonna edit my course description here because uh, it seems like a logical place for me to put it so I'm just gonna add an extra line here I'm gonna come back over to Google Calendar and I'm going to on the calendar I want so I want digital photography one a little drop down box shows up I click on that and it tells me calendar settings is the third option click on that and it gives you a bunch of information about your calendar what I want is I actually want a calendar address that I can share it out to you so I'm going to come down here to where it says calendar address these are the different types of code that I would need to put it in I want the HTML and then it generates this HTML address I simply select that whole thing and then I copy it I'm done with that. I can actually get out of Google Calendar there. I come down here and I can simply put in and then I can paste that address in and then hit save and you'll see when it's done it makes this a link so now the kids if they don't have this option in their um, view they can view it in classroom or they can actually click on here and see it in like a regular google classroom or google calendar format